so I'm a track athlete. I'm a two-time Olympic finalist in the 100 meter hurdles. Um, and right now I am doing ball play. Like I'm competing and attempting to earn a spot on Team Canada for the Winter Olympics. People who have been finding out, oh, I'm doing bobsled now, have been asking me like, why? <laughs> like, why are you doing bobsled? And I'm a huge believer in doing new things, trying new things, um, stepping outside of my comfort zone and challenging myself. And bobsled was an opportunity to do that. So I think there's usually like four steps um, when you are getting ready to try something new or do something new. And so the first being, you have a bit of an itch. Um, you know, that little seed that's planted in your head and you're like, I think I want to do this. Like, I think this is something that I want to try. Um, for me personally, you know, I remember watching the 2014 Winter Olympics and seeing Bob's head and saying like, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, and I never really thought I would ever have the opportunity to compete in bobsled. But when the opportunity presented itself, um, the itch was a little bit there, like the spark was there. And I was kind of like, okay, I think this is something I might want to do. Um, but if I'm going to be 100% honest, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm like, how is this going to affect track? How, you know, how is this going to affect my training? How, like, does this make sense? Am I going to be good enough? Okay, do I uproot? <laughs> myself and my training environment you know for where I was in Baton Rouge um, coming off of personal best um, leaving a very um, stable thing for something that I'm really unsure about all these questions and things went through my mind and I basically just said to myself you know there's no harm in just going out and trying and seeing I didn't want to regret not at least just seeing what I could do. That's the second part. The second step is having the courage to take that leap. Um, and the biggest thing about trying something new um, is you're going to be scared and you're going to be worried and you're going to have anxiety and you're not going to be sure and there's going to be uncertainty. Um, and I wish, I wish I could give you guys a recipe for how to have that courage and how to, you know, just step out on faith. But they're really isn't. I literally just one day made a decision and said, I'm going to do it. You know, weighed some pros and cons. Uh, you know, next year in track, there isn't a major championship. There's Commonwealth, but no world championships, no Olympics. Um, and I felt like that left an open door for me to try something new. So, I, you know, the timing was right. And so that was my biggest thing. I'm going to go out and at least put forth a great effort. And, and to try and to challenge myself in this way. If you wait for that moment, if you wait for the moment when you are 100% sure, or if you wait for the moment when you, you know, don't feel scared or feel afraid, you'll never do it. You'll never step out and you'll never do it. So don't expect to be totally sure and, and totally certain. I think it's helpful to think of the benefits that you will receive from doing it. At the end of all of this, this is how I'm going to be that much better. I know I feel this right now, but this is why, this is why I'm going to do it. Um, and I know for me, you know, stepping out and doing bobsled, um, it has taken me out of my comfort zone, 100%. It's very easy to get caught up, you know, a cycle. Um, so I feel like being out of my comfort zone in a new sport has been awesome because it has kind of reignited a little bit for me. Um, it just has created a total new way of thinking of things and a total new perspective. Being a beginner isn't always a negative thing. Like you always hear about the people who just kind of started and it's like you have such a naivety to yourself that you, you don't even know what to expect, which sometimes is a positive. You know, sometimes when you're, you know, a vet or whatever, the process of overthinking and trying too hard um, and there's beauty in thinking less and there's beauty in just flowing and letting things happen um, and I think that often happens you know with beginners and someone um, who's just trying something new <laughs> when you are starting something new everything's fresh you know um, and everything's new and you you bring intensity and purpose to everything because you want to learn at the end of the day if you're not having fun 
like is it worth it the third part the third part <laughs> is the process so that's you know actually going and doing this new thing but that probably is i would say the hardest part my first two weeks were learning how to push a bobsled <laughs> pretty important um the next two weeks were sliding i wasn't as consistent as i would have liked to have been so i feel like i've had some great pushes and i've had some bad pushes um it's important like i said in those moments to have a clear vision of what you want to do have a clear vision of where am i trying to get to um because it's easy to get caught up in the moment um when things aren't going well and to feel down on that um i always try and keep my angle in sight and just understand that the process is the process and there are going to be downs 100 percent i know that it's going to happen um and i can't let the downs keep me down <laughs> The fourth step is realization. Um, doing what you set out to do and doing it in a way um, that you think is successful. Um, I kind of have two ways of, I guess, setting goals or evaluating myself. And as an athlete, you know, the outcome matters. You know, for me right now, doing bobsled, the ultimate goal is making the Olympic team, going to the Winter Olympics, competing, and getting on the podium. Those are, you know, that's the big ultimate goal. Um, that's the outcome that I wanna see happen. I, I think uncertainty makes those things worthwhile. That's why I love sport, because you compete on the day to see who's the best. Because if we just went by like, you know who the media says is the best whatever there's no reason to have the competition but i think that uncertainty is what makes it all worthwhile and in the same way that you know the negative things in life are what make us appreciate the positive like you need the fact that there's no guarantee um to make it worthwhile to understand like i worked for this and like i made it happen because it didn't have to happen then i also set goals in terms of like not with external metrics totally like internal totally on things that i can control and things that i value for myself um so you know my goal coming out here to do pop is to challenge myself to learn a new sport and to put my greatest effort in um and if at the end of the day i can say that i did those things then i won <laughs> i hope and the goal is that when i put my greatest effort in when I challenge myself, when I learn this sport, um, it will line up with my outcome goals. I encourage anybody who's kind of teeter-tottering on, you know, trying something new, doing something new, stepping out of their comfort zone, um, take that step. Take that step, have the courage, feel the fear, do it anyways, embrace it, um, because you will be better for it. Love you guys!